Good morning, Tamina Khan is here in TK Maths is fun. In this video, we will solve question 3 and 4 of June 2024. Um, paper 6 2 and code is 9709, which is basically S2 paper of A level maths. So, the question is in front of you. It's talking about uh, this question is about um, confidence interval, right? In context of the proportion. So, a student wishes to estimate the proportion of students at her college. Now, the condition is what? Those who have exactly one brother. And she survey. Uh, in the survey, she took a sample of 50 students. And she found that 18 of them have exactly one brother. She calculated an approximate alpha percentage. So, confidence interval percentage is not given to you. Alpha percentage confidence interval for P and finds that the lower limit of her confidence interval is 0 0.244 this now before i show you the solution here you have to remember and recall one method where i mean one concept whenever we are talking about confidence interval the percentage it is basically exactly symmetrical to this mean right let me draw it here okay so if i take exactly in the center symmetrical and this is my alpha percentage so what do we do when we get this z value and we read the table right a standardized table to calculate the probability we get this whole thing right but we actually have to get what only this portion so what do we do from the whole thing there are two three ways what I, what i do from the whole probability this red portion i minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 is this thing so I get this percentage and I double it because this portion and this portion is same or otherwise from this whole thing which you have minus 1 you will get this part double it you will get this part then minus it from 1 again and you will get this part it looks very dirty but when you solve question I will explain to you again right so this is the concept we are going to apply here now so i have written here the given condition in the red okay and then after that oops after that you can see i have told you how to calculate sample proportion you know that 18 out of 50 have so it is 0 0.36 and the general formula for calculating the confidence interval for a proportion is here you can see that now in this formula right now you know ps qs is basically 1 minus ps s is for sampling proportion and is the total now here one other information is very important given and that is the lower limit of the confidence interval is 0 0.244 okay so i want to explain to you here the meaning of this question so far with the help of a straight line I'm explaining central is proportion of s when you minus this part from it you get this value lower limit and in the same value when you add this portion you get this upper limit so when question says lower limit it means this part is actually given to you 0 0.244 so it helps you to form an equation 0 0.244 equals to this which i have done here you can see that and after that i'm simply plugging in values to calculate z once i got z and why i'm writing in three uh, decimal places because of the table which i have to use have uh, three decimal up till three decimal you know the rightmost portion is the third decimal place so that's why i have written it like this and after that when i read the probability against one point here you can see 709 i got probability 0.952 now what is this probability it is actually this whole thing on the left hand side so like i said from this whole thing i'm subtracting 0.5 why because 0.5 is this left hand side this whole thing once i subtract it i get this answer and after that i'm doubling it only because this portion and this portion is same so it helps me to get the answer which is 91.25 percent 0.9125 for 
you can write answer in three um, significant figure which is up till one decimal place 91.2 percentage one more question which is number four this is related to linear combination and two independent values of x denoted by x1 and x2 which we are drawing only from the same distribution so when you have to calculate this it has one mark so the working i'm showing you here is basically to explain to you the concept but one can understand immediately the moment oh, sorry, that i will explain later otherwise you may get confused so the meaning of this question is basically you have to calculate this probability right and when you rearrange this it is x1 minus x2 basically they are from the same normal distribution so now you will find out the mean and variance of this because whenever you have to calculate the probability in this form you need mean and variance as it is given here so i am calculating the mean of x1 minus x2 and you know that it is calculated like this and variance in variance we add up it is 24 so your new mean and variance for x1 minus x2 is this right and when you are applying it in terms of z you get x z greater than 0 which is 50 percent right so in part 2 when it is given this question i am rearranging it so it is x1 minus 2 times x2 now it is times this here right so now i am calculating the mean again okay you have seen and in the variance i am calculating again because it is multiplying so it will square and we add you know that so you will get this value i think it is now again the same thing and you will get the answer 0 0.1831 so i hope you understood please press like and subscribe button and in the next video i will solve the other two questions next two questions Thank you very much for watching. Please press like and subscribe button. Take care. Allah Hafiz.